I work for the European Consumers Organization, uh, BEUC, and um, so we represent 41 consumer organizations across the EU and in, outside of the EU as well. And I'm also here to represent Consumers International, which represents 220 organizations across the world. And both PEUC and CI are part of TACD, which is the Transatlantic Consumer Dialogue, which joins together 65 organizations in the EU and US. The main goal is to make um, especially the governments, the OECD governments, understand what is important for consumers in relation to the internet. So we've had, on the first day we had a civil society meeting and we talked about human rights issues and the internet, freedom of expression, freedom of information. We talked about the rights of workers because in the internet kind of, all the people who make internet work, many of these are on part-time contracts with bad social conditions. We talked about the digital divide, so all the people in the world who don't have access to, to internet. We talked about open source and open standards, making sure that the internet stays open. We talked about copyright, uh, making sure that um, copyright owners just own the copyright that's, that's rightfully theirs by legislation and don't extend into areas that are, you know, where there are exceptions and limitations because those are the public areas open to everyone and that's very important you know, to have all the knowledge that we need on the internet so that people you know, have access to this knowledge. We talked about the importance of neutral networks, so making sure that internet service providers provide on their networks all the information that's available, that there's no filtering of content because that's very important, consumers, you know, everyone should have access to all the information that's out there. We talked about data protection, the importance of data protection, uh, especially when you look at um, all these social networking sites. People don't realize what they're signing away. Uh, you see this whole move towards, you know, a lot more advertising, personalized behavioral targeting. So people need to know about it and need to be protected. Uh, we talked about consumer legislation and how important it is to have a good framework of protection for people when they go on the internet. I think maybe what's the most difficult is copyright because I think that you know the, the film companies, the music companies, they worry a lot about what they call piracy and I think there's not enough understanding understanding of how important it is to make sure that as many people as possible can make use, have access, you know, of music, of film. I think it's an important, um, it's very important to find a solution that combines making sure that all these copyright owners put information on the net and get a just reward for it, but at the same time that as many people as possible have access. Well, I would say that as many people as po possible have access. I think that's very important because I do think that the internet, you know, it, it dominates our lives now. It gives you access to education, knowledge, culture, but also in terms of healthcare, it's very important. So I would say access and then combined with making sure that people are protected. I think people don't realize that there are risks out there and that they shouldn't give their data away too easily. I mean, I was very impressed today because in my panel there was someone from South Africa and she was saying that people in remote communities who need to go to a clinic or something through the internet, you know, can make an appointment, can, you know, can get information. Um, I think that's very important. And I've also heard here today that I think in the U.S., the U.S. government is making sure that all their kind of hospitals and health services have... have um, have interconnection. I think it's very important in terms of healthcare that, for example, there's exchange of data on people, health data. Of course, there's again an issue of data protection, but on the other hand, 
if there's exchange of data, healthcare can be better. I must say also that we are campaigning very much because we're very worried that we have in Europe the same kind of system as in the US where a lot of information is put uh, you know, on the internet but also in magazines, uh, on television by pharmaceutical companies promoting medicines and we think that's very dangerous. We think medicine should not be promoted by the people who produce it. It's, you know, advice on what medicines to, to take should come from health professionals, uh, your doctor. So while we think the internet can help people have access to more information about health, we have to be very careful about who puts that information on the net. I, I would, um, I think in relation to data protection that people don't realize that their data are out there. Um, I've heard one of the, the, the other speakers talked about, um, you know, my face, that people put information on there, let's say now, that's fun, but in 20 years time, when you try to get an employment, it can be used against you. So I think it's very important that people know their rights, know what they're putting out there, but are also protected. You know, someone who's, let's like, say, 14 putting something on there now, doesn't know the consequences and needs to have protection. I think the conference, um, what's been very important about the conference is that it brings people together from across the world. And I think what's come across to me very much is that it does need global solutions. It can't be just national or regional. It needs to be global. There's only hope, I think hope.